Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. In today's video, I want to show you how to avoid fake breakout and how to wait for those uh, actual retests in the market whenever the market breaks and how to be confident whenever the market breaks and you're sure that this is not a fake breakout. Guys, there's something, um, there's nothing uh, discouraging like seeing the market that it has break a key zone that you have been waiting you enter buy or sell and eventually the market retracing back almost 100 pips to just take you out and then the market continue with the same direction so guys i want you to i want to show you today how to avoid that go to your chart any chart open any chart today we'll be uh, uh taking a uh, audi usd as our example so you have open out usd like that you have to analyze the chart very well so i have identified my lowest zone this is where the support um the sellers have reached uh, it's the lowest point of this market so i can call this a support so that's my low so you have to first understand what is happening so i can i can mark that as my low so that is my lowest point and you can see my highest point the one that i can see it's all the way up there but this market we have uh different places that the buyers would be targeting and if they are broken we would be having a like a change of character the market will change from downtrend to uptrend at this moment the market is still sell it is still downtrend but if the market breaks these uh, specific zones, if it breaks that zone and then it comes and break our last zone here, we may be shifting from sell to buy. So you will wait patiently. And this is where people go wrong because everyone is waiting for this market to break this zone so that they can enter buy. There's a way the market breaks and you don't enter immediately. And I'll give you the example. For instance, we want the market to come and break this, uh, to, to come and break here, and then the buy continue retest. It breaks. We want the market to break. This is what we want. We want the market to break. And then when it breaks, it retests. We see some retesting of that zone, and then we can go ahead and buy in that market. But many of the times, as uh, the market breaks like this, like this, and then you don't wait for retest, you enter and the market does what? Continue to go down and then come maybe to this zone. So that's the time now it is going up. So what happens is that if your stop loss was very low, you'll be stopped out. Another thing, if you didn't have a stop loss and you had over risk, you had used a very high lot size, you'll still lose it in the market. So these are the two things that you need to watch out. What kind of a candle that your market, uh, the, the candle that is breaking your your zone? What kind of a is in what type of a candle? Yes, is it a momentum candle? And momentum, I mean, is it breaking with a very big body or is it just breaking with a small body? Something that I have come to realize is that if the market breaks with a very small body, just give that market time to know if it is a fake breakout or a real breakout. If it is a real breakout, the next candle should be above that previous break. So what I do is that I'll come, take a box, and uh, put it around that candle, because why? I, if it is a, an actual break, the next candle should now be uh above that previous brick the the next candle should be like that so that's how you identify a very good and not a fake breakout so that's that's being said if the market breaks with a big candle the body is big the position of the body is big big i mean now the body like half of it is big you already know that this market it will continue going down and this market it can retrace or it cannot it can retrace and it can fail to retrace so where how do you avoid then fake breakout so let's play this so that you can see what you are looking for so the market will be coming up and you can see it has broken with just one candle we were targeting the market to come to this zone you can see it has broken our zone 
And we cannot say this is a very big body because it's not half of the body. Half of the body we mean the candle be like that, like the half of the body has broken that zone. So the minute you see the market has broken with just a small body uh, part, uh, it has broken, don't be quick to buy. So many people do this. Many people will come here. They say, oh, the market has broken. And then they enter buy. So where will you put your stop loss if you do that? Your stop loss should be the last low. So you'll see you will have a very big stop loss. So if you are, your candle breaks like this is a very big momentum candle and the body, the body size that broke that zone is very small, you have to wait for retest. So let's start uh, looking what happens. So the minute you start seeing the red candle, be patient. Don't enter the, the market without waiting for the retest to get over. Many are the people who will enter by thinking now the retest is done. So be patient. You can see the market is still um, trying to retest that zone. And many people now will enter here. They will say, oh, the market has reacted. It has touched our zone. Now it's time to enter. Don't enter. Don't enter. And then you will find that if, as long as you do not have a green candle, we do not have a green candle to indicate to us that this market is the end of the retest. As long as you don't have a green candle, don't enter with these sell momentum candles. Even if they are small, they are very dangerous because the minute you enter by thinking, oh, it will reach there, you're just guessing. And in the market, we do not predict, we react. So let's continue <clears throat> and see how uh, how the market uh how the price was uh printing so you can see the market is still dropping and every time people now will say oh this is the zone that the market wanted to retest you can see they will say oh uh, the market will now it is a buy and they will come just blindly they have not seen an indication they have put even sell uh, by limit and they don't even know where to put stop loss and they think the market will go up guys that's something that you should not do don't enter with a red candle this is the market these these candles are showing you that sellers are still in control so let's continue and you can see if you had entered with this candle what is happening is that this this cell is very aggressive again don't enter and you can see here you can see here there's a zone so i'll just create this zone here you can see there's a zone and the market can react. So what, what people do is that they will try to start buying immediately and some will have buy limits in this place, thinking the market will react. Unless you see a green candle, we are not entering. Remember, if we entered immediately, the whole of this retest would be a nightmare because there are so many pips that have moved against anyone who had bought. So until we get a green candle, that's when now we want to enter. So when we, we get a green candle, now we are interested to enter this market. Remember, I'm teaching you guys how to avoid fake outs. So this market broke, but immediately it broke, it started to go down. So don't forget that the buyers have pushed the market up. That Don't forget that. So the minute the market gives you a green candle, ask yourself two questions. Is the green candle a bullish engulfing candle? Or is, if it is not, you have to use WBB strategy. So if it is not a bullish engulfing, you just put a box. And what do you want? You want the next candle to break that box. The WBB strategy means weight box break. So we, are, we, we want the market to break that box so that we can know that I, in fact the market is now uh, on a buy side so what do you do you wait don't enter because you have just seen a blue there are some instances that the the market can still go down there are instances that the market can still go down so you have to be sure what you are doing you have to be sure of the 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 position that you want if at all i want to buy i have to be confident on this buy so don't enter with the first green candle i hope that is clear so what you do, now you wait after four hours. Remember, guys, I'm using four-hour time frame. Wait until four hours and then come back. So after four hours, what happened? The candle broke the box. So when the candle broke the box, now you can enter this market. We can enter this market targeting our first high because um, this first high is where the market 
are first uh, reacted to. So if we enter by here, we are just targeting up to 72.66. And if at all we want to target uh, where the bodies are, the body uh, is it's 72.57. So if we enter this trade, and this is ongoing trade on Audi USD. If you're interested, you can check it out. If you enter this trade, this is where you're checking. First of all, the market has been... Um, it has done WBB, the, the market broke on the upside and this sell, it has been rejected. No matter how strong it was, it has been rejected. And then there's another thing that is supporting uh, our buy. We have few things that is supporting our buy. The first thing is that this buy that was coming here, we created a new high. Remember, we were creating lower lows and lower highs, but this time, this time, this place created a new high. And that alone shows that the market will eventually come to this place. So that is rule number one. The market we have seen it has retested and the buyers are willing now to come in with a big force that uh, they are supposed to push the market. That's another thing. The other thing that we can see that buy is being supported is that we have a double bottom. So remember for my previous videos, I have talked about this pattern so many times. And I've told you guys, if you have a double bottom, it's either two things. How do you enter a double double bottom pattern? It's either the candle and gav. It's either this green candle and gav the red. You enter immediately. If it gives you a very small candle, put a box, wait for WBB to happen, and then enter. And it has done everything. So here we can see we have a possible, we have a double bottom. So, so many things are double, double bottom so so many things are are promoting a buy and the, we have we are now confident that this buy if we enter this buy now it is the appropriate time so with all that being said all you need to do is to enter your trade and then you just relax and you put your tp and you wait and if this is our double bot double bottom this should be our neckline so unless the, the market should come all the way to this place again we should uh put uh we should put a trend line we can put a trend line we can connect trend line connects two parts the first part and the second part and you can see the market is coming to that zone so you can have your trend line and the trend line can guide you on where to take the profits so the having that said and having uh, everything put together we are putting our buy position so we are going long on this because everything is in place so according to the stop uh, according to stop loss stop loss you will put according to atr atr is average true range it helps people to put according to the to the right um to the right pips so that you cannot be stopped out so you can even um target this low just below that low because you know market can market makers can try to stop out people so if that's how your setup is that's how your step up is and then our target is at the neck at the trend line so let's see the next candle you can see the next candle came to that place let me remove that this is the next candle that happened and now we have the net we have the current market at there so currently the market it, has, it is at that point so guys i want i will do a quick um uh, i will do maybe an an update after this video these are my thoughts and this is how i think the market will behave so if it does i will do a quick update on the video but i think the market will eventually come to this zone and if they break here they will eventually come to this. So we will we are targeting which position? We are targeting 72, let's say 72.41 or 72.40. And then if they break, we are targeting 74.57. So th th that is it, guys. Make be very, very um be very, very slow to enter any trade that has broken without really knowing what is happening. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Love you.